they were free. But they were free and broke. They were free not having a job, not having tools. Why? Because somebody vetoed a 40 acres and a mule. They wouldn't let them have any property. They wouldn't let them have any possession, nothing to start their farming with. I'm telling you, the devil has tried to treat the church the same way. He thinks just cause you got saved, you happy with that. No, we're not gonna be satisfied anymore. We got some stuff in there. We gonna get our stuff, everything. I'm telling you, this place supposed to be loaded with millionaires. I said it, praise God. I know some of y'all can't take it, but And if you remember last night, President Obama made the point that he doesn't want a debt ceiling deal to come at the expense of the lowest income Americans. And a new study out tonight shows that they are increasingly black and Hispanic Americans. Their median household net worth is now 20 times less than that of white households in this country. That's the biggest wealth gap ever recorded. And a staggering one third of black and Hispanic Americans have a negative net worth now compared to 15% of white households in America. That gold and silver are being hid. Every offshore account, every place that the enemy is trying to hold it back through people, God's going to gather it up. Now, somebody said, well, wait a minute, how can you know how? I thought you said the devil is holding it. He is but he's holding it through people. Now, they don't know they're being used, but they are being used. Look what it says in John chapter 8, please, very quickly. Are you with verse 44? Ye are of your father, the devil. Watch this. And the lust of your father, keep going, you will do. What does lust mean? Say pressure. So the devil can put pressure on folk and make them do things. All right, let's go over here. Let's look at a couple of places. <laughs> uh, I don't care, you know, I, 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 I'm going to say it. I don't care what you think. Man, I don't like this. Sit here. You're the one that needs to hear this. It, it, I'm going to fix income. You better unfix it because that thing ain't going to be enough of what's coming. All right, let's look at one more place. Let's look at one more place. I want to get just one more thing to you. All right, let's go to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 7, please. Deuteronomy chapter 7. The enemy, like I said, is coming after it because it's what he's put his dominion on. But you have dominion over this whole earth. Say amen to that. Now, They say money don't grow on trees, but if you look at it, according to the scriptures, it does. What do they make money from? They make from trees, from wood. Do you have dominion over wood? You know you do, because Jesus cursed one. And he said, the things that I do, you can do too. So say money cometh to me now. So you're taking dominion right there. All right. New analysis of U.S. Census data reveals a gaping wealth gap between whites and people of color. According to the Pew Research Center, the economic crisis has essentially wiped out much of the economic progress made by people of color over the past 20 years, resulting in lopsided wealth ratios that are the largest since the government began publishing such data a quarter century ago. We gonna get our stuff! Household wealth is the sum total of one's assets, such as your house, car savings, and stocks, minus the sum of your debt, such as the mortgage uh, on your house, say uh, your car loans, or credit card debt. It is different from household income, which measures your annual wages and other earned income. Wealth gaps between whites, uh, African Americans, and Hispanics have always been much greater than income gaps. But Paul Taylor of the Pew Research Center explains that the gaps were compounded during the housing bust and subsequent recession. 
look at a before and after set of snapshots from 2005 to 2009. In 2005, the wealth gap ratios were roughly 10 to 1, and they doubled to 20 to 1. So they were already big, and they got even bigger. So what happened? The main driver uh, of these disparate impacts was the housing market. Uh, blacks and Hispanics uh, have fewer financial assets. For you, this place supposed to be loaded with millionaires. I said it. Wealth, wealth is a combination of all your assets, your home, your car, your 401k, your stocks if you have them, minus all your debts, your mortgage, your, your car loan, your student loan, your credit card. Uh, the, the financial portfolio of blacks and Hispanics are much more dependent on their housing wealth uh, th than on anything else. They don't have much else. So when the housing market tanked, as it started to in 2006, it disproportionately impacted uh, blacks and Hispanics. On top of that, there was a regional impact. Uh, the housing market rose uh, higher and fell more steeply in certain sections of the country. Chapter 6, verse 20, verse 30. One of the main ways. We got to take the enemy to court. I'm not talking about the court of the earth. He's a spiritual entity. He's a thief. Men do not despise a thief who steals to satisfy his soul when he's hungry. Keep going. But if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold and give all the substance of his house. Now, I just spoke something in here today. Billionaires are coming into the kingdom. You better hear what I'm just saying now. I'm not saying that out of any kind of arrogance. I'm not saying that to pump somebody up so they can be greedy. I'm not saying that. I'm saying we're about to discover how to get our stuff. I need one more session with you, and I'm going to close it out. But I'm we're going to go over how to command Satan to release what belongs to us. Say amen to that. And the church not going to be broke anymore. American economists have predicted a crisis for the United States probably for over a decade or a large percentage of us did. The crisis was the collapse here inside the United States in the financial markets themselves, particularly that centered around mortgages. So the crisis never came from when we expected it to, but the speed with which it happened wiped out a huge portion of American household wealth. And that is unlikely to come back. We wiped out a huge portion of American household wealth. And that is unlikely to come back. <laughs> we expect home prices to stay down for some time. And while the stock markets come back to some degree, it still remains extremely volatile and unstable. But I wanted to let you know that this idea of building your faith for the transfer is what I want to do. Because I know that as we studied this, that just getting them saved is not all we supposed to do. He said gold and silver and clothing. So he didn't happen to pick the worst stuff. He said take the best and get out of town. Now once he tried to do that, they tried to do, they did that, Pharaoh came after him. What do you think he wants back? He wants his stuff back. And the devil wants his stuff back because his stuff is what his anointing is on. Survey In other words, just like you have the anointing of God to be able to do things supernaturally, he's got the anointing of money to be able to do things. Take his money away and his anointing leaves. <laughs>